it's been a, a, a wonderful uh, morning talking to the Anti Walker Foundation and to G uh, Walker, uh, a, a woman so humble and so uh, so forgiving, so tolerant, but um, so determined as well to try to uh, get people to uh, be understanding and tolerant of each other. Uh, 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 the thing that keeps her going is, of course, uh, Anthony's memory. It's 14 years uh, since Anthony was murdered, and what she and, uh, and the Anthony Walker Foundation is trying to do is keep that legacy uh, of Anthony's memory and what he was about and the family were about alive. And it's got so much uh, to do. Um, I'm frightened and worried, as many, many people are, about uh, racism still being alive. Uh, and kicking in many cities across the UK and, and here in, in the city region in Liverpool uh, where we see the rise of the right-wing populists uh, blaming uh, and scapegoating people so there's much to do uh, and we need the Anthony Walker Foundation and we need G Walker uh, to continue uh, promoting uh, positively uh, a message of anti-racism uh, and championing equality, uh, not just in, in, in schools, but in communities where uh, people still have that belief that um, you know there are people that are more unequal than themselves. And we've got to challenge that every opportunity we have. And the Anthony Walker Foundation not just supports the victims of race, crime and hatred, which it does, but it also promotes equality uh, and diversity and understanding of each other.